Yes lads, welcome back to a new video. Today is a different type of video. We are visiting all the professional clubs in London with the cameraman behind me, Mr. Tom Spencer. Greetings all. Let's get into it. Right, today we're at the first ground of our journey, our long journey in London. What would you rate the ground, Tom? I'd give it a five and a half out of 10, I would. Oh, that's being generous, to be honest. Like, in terms of atmosphere, I don't know, it's a bit of a modern ground, but I think most West Ham fans will tell you this as well. Upton Park, much better than this ground. Atmosphere, how it looks. Hostility. Yeah, I do agree. But I think if you come here as an away fan, you're not scared really, are you, of the West Ham fans? You're looking at the scenery, the ground and that. But our next ground we'll get onto is Leighton Orient. We're now outside the home of Leighton Orient, Brisbane Road, I think it's called, or they may have changed it. But um, I'd rate this ground a, I don't know, either a 6 or a 7. I'll go with a 7. Nice old fashioned ground. Yeah, big fan of Orient as well. So. One. Welcome to Tottenham's new ground. Absolutely massive, I must say. Because I've not really been inside it, so I don't know what it's like inside. But from the outside, it's by far the best stadium, the biggest we've been to here. So from that, I'm going to go 9 out of 10, you know. But um, I think it's, it's really out of place, the ground in the area. I think Tom behind the camera can agree with me on that. Indeed, I can, mate. But I can't wait to get back in next season. stadium in the Premier League. Yes, I did say the best stadium in the Premier League, but um, I'm a bit disappointed to be honest. I was hoping we'd see Robbie or a bit DT from Arsenal TV, but nowhere to be seen unfortunately. But um, as I said on Tom's video, which I'll leave a link in the description, I personally think this is way better than Tottenham's ground because it's in a better area. From outside it looks more finished as well, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, off to the next one. We're off to Charlton, aren't we? Charlton? Charlton indeed. Let's go. We're at our first South London club of the day, yeah, of the day, the Valley. To be honest with you, if I'm being honest, I think it's a shithole. The area's a shithole, the ground's a shithole. There will never be Millwall. <laughs> if I had to give it a rating out of 10, I'd say about, I don't know, a five maybe? Four or five. But um, yeah, I can't wait to get out of here to be honest. So on to the next ground, the mighty Millwall, best team in London. What an idiot I am, I forgot to film any footage or like any videos at the Millwall ground so instead you can listen to my waffle, my voiceover but um, of course I think Millwall is probably the best ground on this list for obvious reasons me being a Millwall fan but um, yeah. Right, we've just left Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace's ground. Yeah. Yep. What, what was your opinion on the ground, Tom? That was a fucking blinding ground. I Wait, do after think, Villa, yeah. After Villa, that's probably my favourite Premier League. Really? Game. That is a bold statement. That was lovely. I yeah. did think it was nice, but it's, it's like I, old, I wouldn't say it's my favourite. It's old school for a Premier League ground. Yeah, it's pretty impressive how old school, but I don't know how it looks good on the outside as well. 
if you know yeah. what I mean. I've, I've, I've never been here, I don't know what it looks like inside. I've been once, but I believe. The, at the atmosphere, I've seen videos of the atmosphere. Mm. That, on top of the yeah, looks of the outside, fucking blinding. I'd probably yeah. give that an 8 or a 9 out of 10. 8 or 9? I'd yeah. give it an 8 out of 10, I think. No, I can't give a definite answer, but that's one of the give a definite one, but probably 8 or 9 out of 10, that. We're on our way to AFC Wimbledon now, uh, new ground. Lane. I'm excited. It's the one ground I've actually not been to. Recently been developed, but yeah, we'll see you there. Right, I forgot to film another like end video for the AFC Wimbledon one, but um, to keep it short and quick, I was a bit disappointed to be honest, it looks a bit like a college building. Lads, I already know what you're going to say. We did not complete all of the professional teams in London. But the only problem was, I, me and Tom had both been to QPR quite a few times. And we could just not get to Brentford. Like, it was getting way too late. I think we'd been out for about 10 hours. And, like, it was literally getting impossible to do. So that's the only reason we didn't do it. And Wembley, I've been Wembley quite a few times. So has Tom. So it just did not make sense for us to do them free. But, um... We do accept that we did fail, but yeah. Remember, if you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and comment what videos you'd like to see in the future. If you'd like to see, like, career modes, um, I don't know, streaming, more videos like this, more, like, exploring videos, or, like, vlogs, or, yeah, just whatever videos you want to see football-related, comment down below, and I'm sure me and Tom will try and get them done, or just I will try and get them done. Whatever you comment.